Hello and welcome to a FLIR Raven planning application instructional video. Today we're going to just start with the basics, your first plan. We're going to add a couple cameras, go to an interesting location, and save that project. So first of all, uh, you can use, you can type uh, most locations, um, even names of buildings into the search by address or inner location. For example, you could uh, look at the Seattle Space Needle, for example, or, and that'll take you to the Space Needle. Here we are at the Space Needle. Or we could say, go to the Duomo in Italy, and it'll take you there. So let's say we're at the Duomo and we, our project is to ensure the security of the front steps here and as you can see there's all these people here waiting to get in but uh, we don't want people uh, arriving in this area unannounced and vandalizing this building at night so we're going to put a couple of IR cameras security cameras to make sure that uh, we know if anybody's hanging around there so the very first thing we want to do is add some cameras. So we can add cameras by clicking on the Add Camera area, or we can just click on the Add Edit Camera bar. That'll pop that out, and we would select uh, Security Camera, but there's also ITS and Radar cameras, or Radar. Uh, so select the Security Camera, then we'll say, let's uh, use the FCID series, and um, Let's pick some wide angle, high resolution cameras. So 44 degree, 644 ID, and then say add to map. It's gonna drop it right there on the steps. And then we'll come down here. <coughs> and uh, we need to figure out how far this camera will be able to recognize our target. So it looks like about 90 meters is where the uh, camera's limitation is in this particular situation for a person. Now, if we were just looking at a uh, vehicle, we could extend that out even farther to, in this case, all the way to 215 meters or so using the Johnson criteria. Um, but if you're depending on the analytics of the camera to set an alarm for those things, it's a a little bit less so in this case it would be about 130 yard, uh, 130 meters but we're just going to look at people and because um, you can't drive a car up onto the Duomo steps here and it looks like about 90 meters so we can just type that in and uh, then we're going to need to rotate this into the particular configuration so we can use the rotate bar here. Just rotate that around and set that camera here. Let's assume that this is going to be mounted on the building across the way here. And then we like this. Um, and we can quickly clone this by clicking on clone this camera icon. If we don't like it, we can simply click the garbage little garbage can but we we do like it so we're gonna click on that and then we will click again on that bar to reduce that and allow us to see what's going on and uh, position this over here across the way <coughs> and then rotate that into the configuration that we like And that should pretty much cover the steps. Okay, so we'll just save this. We just come up here. We can uh, close the camera edit bar and then click Save Now. We'll call this Duomo Test One. Save that. And then you can confirm that it is indeed that. Over here, we've got the name of the project. Okay, so now we have created our first project and saved it. Thank you for watching.